yeah is all over the place today let's ignore the hair hello i hope you're all doing well i just wanted to have a quick chat about my thoughts on sim kevy because i haven't really been that vocal about it on on social media lately um other than when it was first announced in october i was in complete shock couldn't believe it i can't believe it i can't believe it mate i'm actually shaking if you don't know what it is some kevy is basically a drug which treats the the underlying cause of cf rather than just the symptoms itself it's unlike any of the other pills that i've ever taken before any nebulizers before so this is the first of its kind um the uk have had it for about four years but it hasn't been licensed because blah 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 blah, blah it's too expensive i wasn't going to make this video because i felt a little bit um guilty, a, a bit embarrassed about how I was feeling about it all um, because I just feel very on my own with this <laughs> and I don't know, maybe someone out there feels the same way so I just thought I'd have a little chat to the camera and don't get me wrong, I'm probably blowing this all out proportion because I like to overthink a lot of stuff but truthfully I feel really nervous to to start some Kevy to the point where I I, I don't feel excited about it at all. It's like a lot of anxiety about it. And I don't know, I know before you go and send an angry tweet or start a thread on Twitter, hear me out with this. Like I am very aware of how ungrateful this is about to sound. I really know because I am stuck in this loop of feeling anxious about some Kevy. And then I'm like, wait Kate you're being so ungrateful about this because there's people out there who who can't take this drug simply because they don't have the right genes it's just pure luck of the draw right and so I kind of suppress it and push it down and then eventually it bobs back up and then I'm like back to the beginning again I'm like oh I feel so anxious about this oh my god why is that Kate why do you feel nervous about this because it's a, it's a big ball of of uncertainty I don't know what's gonna happen to me when I take the drug and I know I'm very lucky to have have the opportunity to try it like I've said some people can't take it just because they don't have the right genes and we'll get onto that in just a second hold that thought there there isn't a guarantee that it's definitely gonna make big changes gonna make any change for, for me and don't get me wrong some people have started Tim Kevy and you know their lung function has jumped by 20% and they feel much better they have more energy and that's amazing but it's not a guarantee for everyone because if we learn anything from CF it's that everyone is very very different even if you have the same sort of lung, lung functions your symptoms are still very different. Hello, Editing Kate here. I just wanted to quickly mention that I know these drugs aren't just about making the big changes, but about keeping CF stable. Something I forgot to mention, just wanted to jump on here and say, I know it's about stability as well. So yeah, cool, back to the main video, bye. So some people have had a really dramatic change. Other people haven't noticed a difference. I think one of the biggest issues with this is that throughout the whole campaign of trying to get Orkambi and some Kevy, they have been plastered across social media, across media, you know, traditional media, newspapers and whatever, that these are life-saving drugs, these are life-changing drugs. And it's almost put this pressure, this expectation for these drugs to to make this massive difference and I didn't realize how much of a pressure that had put on me again this is just my opinion I might be the only one feeling like this I don't know like I say when I first heard about the news I was really shocked I was like oh my god this is amazing I can't believe it and then that shock wore off and then I was left with these feelings of um no what what and I just didn't relate to anyone who was like, I'm really excited to try it, I'm really excited to get on it. Friends and family are like, oh, I'm so excited for you to start it. And I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, I feel like there's been that pressure from it with the campaign. And I know, I know I got involved with, with the whole or can be thing, you know, I made the or can be now video um, and I did interviews for ITV and stuff like that. But I, I didn't realize back then that actually or can be wasn't as, hyped up as everyone was talking about no one was talking about the other side of it which is that a lot of people couldn't actually tolerate it because of the the side effects that it was giving out no one was really talking about that so once i learned about that from people's experiences i kind of stu stood back a little bit from campaigning and sim kevy is similar to or can be just with the less side effects 
which is a great thing. Don't get me wrong, people have been on all can be and have had a, made a massive difference to them. Like I say, everyone is totally different. <laughs> I just started to feel this pressure, this anxiety for it to work. It could be amazing. It, you know, I could be sitting here in a couple of months saying, guys, it was fine. But the thing with a modulator drug like Simkevi or Acambi or Clydeco is that it changes the, the structure, no, it changes the cells in your body. That might not be right. I don't really know the science behind it. I probably should, I'll look into that. Um, but it basically it's, it's doing more than just treating the symptoms. Like I said, it treats the underlying cause. So it's making changes and it's gonna take your body a couple of days to readjust this. Almost everyone who I have heard who started Simkevi has had, like the first week has been quite bad. People are coughing up a lot of crap. You know, they're feeling coldy, they're feeling fluey. Um, they don't have the energy, blah, 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 blah. That's just your body readjusting to, to how Simkevi is changing it all. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Do I ever make any sense? That is the question. One of the main things about all of this that freaks me out, and again, I know it sounds ungrateful, but we'll, I'll get onto that in a second. I have lived with cystic fibrosis for 25 years. I know how my body reacts. I know the symptoms. I know who I am on it. God, that sounds a bit cheesy, doesn't it? But with something like Sim Kevy, which is gonna make those big changes, might do, might not, we don't know yet. It's scary because I don't know, I don't know who I am on that. And it's just, it just kind of freaks me out. And I've kind of been freaking out for the last couple of months. And I don't know if anyone else is, or it's just me. And something else that really kind of breaks my heart and, and, and makes me feel very torn with this whole Sim Kevy thing is that I've got friends with CF who, can't take this drug and who can't take trikafta you know the next drug that's coming out in america it breaks my heart to think how they must be feeling when they see people on social media saying you know i've started sim kevy i'm so excited it's made so much of a difference blah 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 blah, blah. it must be heartbreaking to 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 see other people taking modulator drugs when there isn't anything at the moment that is gonna help them. So in a way, it's like, how can I feel excited about this when a lot of my friends can't can't take these drugs? So there's a lot of conflicting thoughts going around. I don't know if I'm the only one about feeling like this, feeling nervous to start it, feeling the pressure and the expectation that comes with it, and feeling a little bit conflicted that a lot of people with CF can't take these drugs. I hope that has made some kind of sense and I hope I haven't offended anyone, don't mean to offend anyone, like I, I understand that I'm very lucky to be able to try these drugs, to have the opportunity to try it and if it doesn't work I will just have to learn to accept that and wait for something better to come out, like Trikafta. For the people who keep asking me, I have been prescribed Simkevi, but it's gonna take a number of weeks to get here because obviously they've been inundated with calls and prescriptions and requests and stuff. Some people have been on at me like, oh, keep phoning them, keep phoning them, keep phoning them and try and get it. And I'm like, no, because I'm, I'm not on the priority list. I want people who really need it to try it first and then Whenever it gets to me, it gets to me. That's that's my whole view on it anyway. I had a virtual clinic the other day where we were talking about Sim Kevy and she prescribed it and stuff and I was like, cool, yeah, that's great, that's great. Cool. And then as soon as I put the phone down, I was just burst into tears because I was like, what is wrong with me? Why don't I feel excited about this? I don't know whether it's a reflection as well on, on how I'm doing mentally, because I'm not doing very well mentally. So I don't know whether it's a reflection of that. Um, and I'm just thinking of the negatives. I might try and do some updates when I start some Kevy. We will see how it goes. I need to store out my brain first, and I? <laughs> Get this whole thing tuned up, tuned up and tuned out. That is the view from the other side of this whole thing. Saga, saga, debate, debate, no, not debate, um, subject. <laughs> so thank you for coming to my casual kitchen chat with Kate. Oh my God, should I make that a thing? Casual kitchen chat with Kate. 
If you related to anything in this video, then give it a thumbs up and give it a share if you want. Subscribe if you wanna. And I will see you in the next one.